Begin tonight with red, white, and blue 2014 election coverage. The final Marquette Law School poll is out, showing a shift in the race for governor. Incumbent Scott Walker has taken the lead in both registered and likely voters less than a week before election day. So, what may have contributed to this? NBC 26's Alex Hagan joins us live at 10 with the answer. Stacy, voter turnout is the key. This latest poll shows 93% of Republic Republicans are certain to vote, compared to 82% of Democrats. A major factor come election day. After months and months of dead heat, statistical tie, neck and neck, everyone vote. however you want to call it, we see a change six days before election day. This is still a close race. Governor Scott Walker gaining a seven point lead on Democratic challenger Mary Burke among likely voters. Key phrase in this shift voter turnout. Almost all of the governor's gain in the poll is attributable to the increased likelihood of Republicans voting. But in the end, the only poll that matters is next Tuesday's. And you don't need to remind the candidates what's important. It's going to be about uh, people turning out and everywhere I go, I encourage people to get out and vote. We keep crisscrossing the state. We're going to every part of the state to try and be competitive. However, after this latest poll, it seems Burke has an uphill battle. The question is, will the Democrats actually turn out and vote? Maybe not a statistical tie anymore, but still, a neck and neck race. Now, Walker has a 1% lead among registered voters. Both candidates have said undecided voters are also a key to their success as well. Alex Hagan, NBC 26.